right, guys. Willie Mandrell, Mandrell Company, and we're going to talk a little bit about uh, building a massive real estate portfolio uh, without going crazy uh, and how to use leverage. What is leverage and how to use it? Uh, so a lot of landlords, a lot of rental property investors get into the business. Uh, they buy a, a property, they buy their second property, or maybe it's just their first, and they immediately become an accountant. Uh, a maintenance person, a landscaper, a bookkeeper, um, you know, an attorney. When you're buying your first and, and second property, you tend to do a lot of things yourself to keep costs low. You're cutting the grass, you're trimming the hedges, you're collecting rents, you're knocking on doors, you're uh, negotiating with tenants about rental increases. You're doing all these different things yourselves uh, and you're driving yourself crazy. Uh, it's hard to keep up with. And in order to continue to build your portfolio, there's no way that you can ever operate like that. So we're going to talk about four ways to leverage yourself uh, or use leverage to continue to build. Uh, and number one, we'll get right into it. Number one would be building systems. Um, system is a, a perfect example would be McDonald's. A McDonald's restaurant would never be able to be as big as they are without systems. When you go in and you work for McDonald's, you know immediately from day one or within the first week, you know, how long a hamburger should cook for, how long the fries should be done. Um, they're not hiring people and in, in, in second guessing or people are coming in and kind of trying to figure out how long the fries go down for. There's a system, a manual, a handbook in place that already tells you exactly how long those fries should be down for. So creating your business or building your rental property business like McDonald's and creating systems and checklists for everything for yourself would be step number one or way to you uh, system uh, or excuse me leverage use number one is systems uh, going in and if you do something correctly if you do something well you're creating a a move-in checklist for your tenants. Your tenants are moving into the apartment. You want to walk through each bedroom. You want to walk through the kitchen. You want to turn on the dishwasher. You want to make sure all these things are working in a good working order. You create that checklist, and now that checklist is something you can hand off to somebody else in the future so you can do something more important uh, later on. Um, so if you're one of those people that believe you do everything right yourself and you do, every, you do it yourself because you do it right, that's great. Document what you do and then hand that system off to someone else later on. Uh, create a repeatable process for yourself, and you can do that with almost everything. Uh, number two, use tools. Tools is a, is a form of leverage. Uh, just like a plumber um, uses a plunger, uh, he's using a tool. He or she is using a tool to unclog that toilet or that tub or whatever it may be. Um, use tools in your business to build that portfolio as well. And by example of a tool would be accounting software. If you're using, um, you know, if you have one property right now or two properties and you can use a yellow legal pad to take all of your income and expenses down, that's great, but you're never going to get to 30 units or, uh, or multiple property or 30 properties uh, doing it that way. Uh, so implement an accounting system into your business now while it's small to allow yourself to grow. A uh, good accounting system or things like QuickBooks, uh, Quicken, um, and then personal finance software like Microsoft Money can also help you out with a lot of your rental property stuff as well. Uh, and then management software as well, using uh, a system to track your leases. When are your leases due? Um, when are your tenants uh, going to uh, need to renew? Um, Stuff like that are, are, can all be taken care of with uh, some type of tool, some type of um, software for your rental property business. And I would say last but not least on the tools note uh, is potentially building a website for yourself. Websites are very easy to build nowadays. They're very cheap. Um, two things that you can do with your website are collect, help you collect rents if it allows that feature, if the website allows uh, tenants to do so on the website. And then two is uh, continuous marketing. Um, if you are trying to build now, you can put prop, uh, photos of your rental properties on this website and people can go and you, they'll see when the lease is being renewed. It's uh, up in September. Uh, they look at the photos. Maybe there's a spot for an application uh, to be filled out right on your website as well. So leverage point number three would be using people, people leverage. Uh, so instead of trying to do everything yourself, if you are great at uh, accounting, but you suck at cutting the hedges or you know landscaping, um, then shell shell that job out to someone else. Uh, if you, it takes you four or five hours to uh, do landscaping work at your rental property, 
um, but you can shout out to someone else who's going to get it done in an hour. Yes, of course, you do have to pay them, um, but that's four or five hours or three hours or whatever it may be that you could be doing something else that you're actually good at and that you enjoy doing. Maybe it's going out and looking for other properties um, or maybe it's, you know, taking care of the books or something that you can actually uh, do efficiently. Um, now, a couple other people you'd want to have on your team consider hiring is property, a property manager. Uh, snow removal. Uh, again, is it is it worth your time to go out and uh, shovel snow um, when you can potentially get some neighborhood kids to do it or uh, a professional company to handle that for you? Uh, a handyman, a personal assistant, a bookkeeper, and then a rental agent. Um, you find a lot of landlords are still uh, taking calls uh, on their rental, uh, their uh, uh, vacant rentals. Um, here in the city of Boston, I would suggest that you hire a rental agent. They're going to do the lease for you. They're going to do the, the tenant vetting for you. They're going to do the showings and take the calls. Um, they are going to vet the tenant out in terms of background checks and uh, all the other um, employment verifications and everything else that is taking up a lot of your time uh, and doesn't allow you to grow, doesn't allow you to build that massive portfolio if you were doing all those things yourself. Uh, last but not least is financial leverage, uh, money leverage. So building a massive portfolio takes money. It takes um, some money and, and most people say, well, I don't have any additional cash to invest. Uh, so using financial leverage uh, in terms of maybe potentially finding partners. Maybe you have uh, $20,000 to invest and you can find another partner with $20,000 or maybe multiple partners with $20,000 and now you are all in a similar space where your portfolio hasn't been able to grow, um, but combining each other, you know, combining together uh, your resources, your financial resources, you are able to take that next step. Um, you could also barter for services. It, going back to, hey, I, I'm really good at um, accounting work. I'm really good at keeping the books, uh, but I don't like the physical uh, aspects of landscaping or, um, you know, snow removal. Uh, but do you have another landlord uh, within your network or another friend uh, that you can barter for service? Maybe you do their taxes or help them with some of their accounting work and they do some snow removal for you, um, creating that that barter uh, opportunity there versus you trying to and them trying to do everything themselves. So in conclusion, decide what you're good at, decide what you like doing. Uh, decide what you're not good at, decide what you do not like doing, uh, and then shell out those uh, the things that you don't like doing. Stick to what you're good at, you can be really efficient at, uh, and use leverage. Leverage is, again, systems, it's tools, it's people, and it's financial leverage. If you do those things, you'll ultimately grow a massive real estate portfolio. Thanks for watching our video. Did you find this information useful? If so, Please remember to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more helpful videos. I would also encourage you to share this video with your friends and your family. Thanks again for watching and we'll talk to you soon.